You'd think that after like hours of no one being in the club but Dr. Shrunk, they'd be like, alright, let's close it up tonight, no one's coming. <laughs> but nope, he's just in no, there dancing. In the, he's in it for the music. Like, he's in it the <laughs> he dances for eight hours straight. <laughs> Every night. <laughs> Every what night. Day. We did it! Coffee for everyone! Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I am Samus Aran, Bounty Hunter. And she doesn't talk like that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's Adam AK Swimming Bird. How are you guys doing? Ooh, I got a frog letter. Okay, I gotta delete some stuff. Today, the new cafe has opened, so we're gonna go get a cup of joe. And uh, after that, I want to start the next public works project. I've got a good idea of what I want to do and uh, and the location I picked out, sort of. So let's grab these letters and uh, read them real quick, and then we'll head over and have a cup of coffee. So, one from Tangy. Hmm. My dear friend Adam, this sentence represents all my warm, happy, cuddly feelings about darling you. Heart thing. Nope, it's just not enough. Let's meet up soon and talk about how amazing we are. Soon, I mean it. Tangy. Hmm. Is Tangy asking me out on a date? And then this... Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the cafe. What is... Hold on. There's a present. Alright. Come on. Okay. We're just gonna go get a cup of coffee and forget about that. Okay, it's right over here, the new cafe. Ooh, I need to water some of these flowers. I'm kind of letting some of them die because I, uh, I'm getting a little sick of watering all of them because it takes forever. I need to get the better watering can before I, I deal with it too much because you can water a bigger area. But here we are, and everyone's turning out for the cafe. Here it is, the roost, open 24 hours. Even got a little gyroid in the plant. Let's just head inside. I'll take my helmet off out of respect and, uh, drink my coffee so I don't have to like shoot it through one of my air holes or whatever. Huh. Nan is in here. Uh, the music brings me back to playing City Folk. So the, the roost is Brewster's ca Cafe here. So let's see what Nan's up to. The atmosphere here is so relaxing. I must have something to do with, or it must have something to do with all these delicious smells. Mm. How's it going? Hey Brewster. Mm. Strong silent type. Let's just have a seat. Yeah. How's it going? He's the coffee me. is 20 bills a cup. I don't know what his voice should be like. <laughs> One, please. <laughs> Alright. Should he have a French accent, maybe? He's got a big mustache. <laughs> That's a horrible French accent. <laughs> but let me know what Brewster's voice should sound like in the comments. There's my delicious cup of coffee. Here you are. My right, specialty coffee. Cool. Go ahead. Enjoy. Thank you. Let's take a sip. I got some sweet yellow hair, blonde hair, to go with Samus's. Hot, hot, hot! Now that's a good cup of coffee, if you don't mind having it to spend a few days to recover from it. <laughs> well, she's, is he gonna have, like, the runs or something? <laughs> Why is he gonna... I guess it's it's burned your oh, tongue. Don't. Cool, thank you. Goodbye. Au revoir, my friend. I will not talk to you, but I am communicating with my mind. What if I sit here? Will he... He probably won't serve coffee to the table. We've got a nice selection of uh, animal magazines. There's one with a fish, one with a boat, all that stuff. How's it going? I'm just, <laughs> I must, uh, I'm just enjoying the little, I'm just enjoying the little afternoon pick me up. Oh, I'm creating new dessert recipes to go with it. Hmm. I didn't know Nan was into making desserts and stuff. Well, now that the cafe is open, we should probably have the ceremony. I already went inside. But let's go to the mayor's office, my office, yeah, the town hall, and we'll, uh, we'll have a little ceremony for it. Elvis is right here, so oh, nah, he ran off into the woods to go <laughs> kill Brofina. I'm, uh, it's like, you'd think one of the, you know, the animals would at least get a little apprehensive around a lion living here. And P Pinky, she, there's like no bamboo for her to eat yet. We gotta plant some of that eventually. Oh, it's totally you. Hello, hello, lump off. What's up? Just want to chat? You want to come to the ceremony for the cafe? Hmm, I'm feeling a little lonely. I want someone to come over to my place and hang out. Hey, how about you? Yeah, right now, lump off. Okay, we're about to have a ceremony. Ooh, let's head to my house then, Schmoopy. You lead and I'll follow. We're pretty close. It's like right here. 
I like that she has a bamboo door. That's a, that's a nice touch. But she probably would eat the door eventually if she's... You know, I think we have to upgrade some shops before we can plant bamboo, but... She's... Aw, she's got my tumbleweed. She really loves it. And the ugly dart board thing. Like, a lot of this stuff clashes. Oh, this is the couch. I had this actually re redone. I made it green, and then I put it in the shop. I've been, like, refurbishing, for, uh, refurbishing furniture and then putting it in the shop so that the villagers will have, like, cool, unique stuff in their house. Maybe you'll pick up a pointer or two for your own place. Well, half this stuff is mine already, like, that I sold to you. Come on. Do you think my room reflects my individual style? I want folks to see it and think, totally pinky. This seems like it would open. Ooh. Hey, watch the floor here. It's a little sticky. I dropped some fruit parfait the other day. Jeez. Gross. <laughs> it's like on this, this ancient Chinese tile. What do you think? My place is cool, right? Should totally be in a style magazine. Lump off. Maybe she's in one of the mags that's at the bro the, the roost. Alright, it's been real, Pinky. I'll see you later. Hey, you're taking off, but you can't leave without telling me what you think of my room. Well, it's good. I'm just gonna lie. It's great. It's great, Pinky. <laughs> well, really? I'll keep up the good work then. Lump off. Hopefully we can do this good sometime. I love you. Don't go. Please. <laughs> uh, she... I like the style of her house, but... I've been selling her, it's it's my fault, I've been selling her tumbleweeds and crap, so that's what happens. Alright, let's head in, we're going to have the ceremony, and then we'll pick the spot for the, the little public works project that I got in mind. I'm excited for this one too. We're getting a lot of the public works projects that actually have like a use, so let's hop in the chair. I keep wondering if Isabel, like each day, she's like confused and just like, uh, I don't know, because I come in in different costumes, so she, you think today she'd be like, why are you dressed as a, <laughs> a space bounty hunter? <laughs> okay, we're going to head over to the cafe. Let's see who's kind enough to show up here. Duh. Nice. Genji. Elvis was here already, so glad he showed up. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Grand Completion Ceremony for Goosen's Vital Cafe Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. Yep. Isabel's our host. Brewster just kind of like waves at the air because he's, he's got it like such a big bird breast. Alright, <laughs> let's see what, what do I... Hooray for everyone! Got flowers shooting out of my hand. That's actually one of the special features of Samus' helmet. It shoots flowers out of it through the exhaust ports. Alright, let's do some popping. Brewster is too cool to pop. There we go. He kind of looks like the Pringles guy, so I'm surprised he doesn't pop. But, alright. That concludes our ceremony. Da, 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 da. I'll talk to a few people here, and then we'll head back to Town Hall and get started on the next project. Yeah. I'm excited, though, because the cafe, it holds promise. Eventually, there's some special stuff that happens there, so we'll have to keep visiting each day. Hey, uh! Hey, Adam. Gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions, Araki. What could I help with you with? Just wanna chat. After a nice jog, I like to have some coffee at a coffee shop before I leave home. Brewster knows exactly what I like. I appreciate that kind of attention to detail, Otaki. Hmm. Oh, whoa! Rainbow! Let's get in a nice spot for this. And take a pic of the rainbow. Ta-da! Oh, the time popped up right at the, the wrong moment. There we go. I'll probably put a picture of uh, of the cafe or something in the thumbnail, but that's a little inside baseball. Okay, let's uh, let's head over here. Those two. I don't like. I don't mind Mira, but I just like I said, I want I want a more unique villager, since uh, I've already got my favorite rabbit buddy Genji. So the last public work, well not the last, but the the other public works thing that I've been waiting for a while to get. Cranston finally suggested. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna build it. And I think I know a good spot for it. Not too far from the cafe. And I think it'll be good there because I pass by there constantly. So uh, let's do it. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. So we can build either the modern police station or the classic police station. Uh, the classic one has Booker, who's kind of the dim-witted like boxer dog. And we, the modern one has Copper who is the Shiba Inu. So I like copper better, so I'm gonna go with the modern police station, even though typically I like more rustic stuff. Uh, I think the modern one is a little cooler. And we got copper. Finally, in the in a lot of the old Animal Crossing games, except for the first one, they were dressed in kind of like medieval like guard uh, outfits, and they would stay at the gates to the town, and kind of you'd have to go there to ask them about stuff. 
And I think the lost and found was like a recycling bin instead. So they kind of changed a lot of that. But now we finally have this back. And this is the spot that I'd like to put it in here, right next to the bridge and the cafe. It almost looks like Isabel shook that tree too. Come here, Isabel. Right here, if I can get it, like right next to the bridge, I think it would look really good here. It's gonna block the river a little bit, but it's too close to the cobblestone bridge. Hmm. Five spaces back. Extra space on all sides. Let's go a little closer here. And let's see what she thinks about this spot. Because we're not that close. Dang it. What is up with her and this bridge? I'd like to have it near the town square and near the bridge. But I don't want... Well, these are all... So these are the lighter trees. But so that means that they don't have fruit growing on them. So if I could get it to grow or, or to be right here, this would be good. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Because I'm not losing anything by getting rid of these trees. Ooh. I don't know about that. It's kind of blocking the bridge. Uh, I gotta think this over. I thought it would be an easier time. It's bigger than I thought it was. So let's, uh, let's head over here. Maybe... Maybe up here? Instead of where these trees are, maybe? We could... No, this is my perfect trees. There's a weed here. Maybe... Okay, um... Maybe we could put it... I don't know. I'll have to think about this real quick. Alright, this looks pretty good. I'm only losing a few trees, and it's near the river. It's got a nice little spot here. It's not blocking the bridge too much. So, I was thinking about that too, and the bridge... Uh, I built the coffee station, or the, the roost the coffee station. It's the combination of police and coffee. Oh, that's another bonus. The The police station's right near the roof, so Copper can go get coffee whenever he needs, because he's a cop, so, you know, he's got to drink coffee. But I, you guys probably noticed, and this bothers me a little bit, the bridge isn't completely lined up here. I'm thinking about replacing this cobblestone bridge and just moving it over a little bit eventually. Uh, if we get a better bridge design that I like, I might switch that out. I like the cobblestone, though. I'm not a huge fan of the modern bridge, but I think that one looks good. Look at that rainbow. It's so cool. That's a really thick rainbow. It must have rained earlier. And uh, that is mostly it today. I think, you know, we could check. I think there's one more home here, and we could finish up by looking at this home. Let's go into the Happy Home Showcase and uh, check what's going on here. And then I'll go and I'll do some shopping, let you guys know if I got anything good. And uh, let's check this out. I've been actually getting a lot of the fortune cookie items I've been surprised. I, I wasn't sure if it's... Maybe it's the feng shui, like I've got good enough feng shui that it's giving me the items that I need rather than the old ones. Oh, I thought I had a new street pass. Okay, well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> this is a nice area to edit anyways. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. And, uh... Oh, a star just fl fell from the sky and hit Samus in the head. <laughs> I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing. New Leaf. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Trunk is in the house. My happiness joke is this a thing to cure what ails you. I'd like to discuss a very serious topic. Happiness. In fact, if you ask me what I seriously think of is the most serious issue of our day, I'd say happiness. Serious, right? Know what I'm serious about? Happiness. Now, I don't mean to bring everyone down, but I truly believe that there's one word that sums it all up. Orange! Huh? Orange, you glad I didn't say happiness again? Ugh, God. <laughs> Shrunk. Happy! I'm so happy. 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 Happy.